my channel welcome back to another video i'm jesse and you're watching yo i am about to do my first ever i believe come book shopping with me video i'm 99.9% .9 sure i've never filmed one of these videos because i rarely buy books i am a huge proponent of my local library and i have the privilege of being sent books to review from the publisher or like being able to request the books that I want from publishers. I do that very specifically so that I can save my coin for my auto buy authors that I really want to support and anticipated releases from BIPOC and marginalized debut authors breaking out in the industry. That is where I really want to put my coins. You're probably like, Jesse, but why? Why now? That is because I am running errands. I've got to get a present for my friend's birthday, which her party is tomorrow. I just have a bunch of stuff to do. And also some of these books I need for some secret videos that I'm in the process of filming. And I've been meaning to pick up these books from the bookstore. So I just think now is the absolute perfect time. Excuse the fact that my book room is a mess. My lights aren't even on. I'm in the process of filming a book organization video that will be out soon so without further ado let's just let's just go bookstore shopping a lot of books here on my tbr this one i'm reading for a secret blog milk blood heat i have and that's supposed to be amazing of women and salt is on my tbr was highly anticipating this book the sequel to the coldest winter ever but i've been told that this is absolute garbage so i'm just gonna we're just gonna leave her there this is my second favorite book of the year y'all if you haven't read this book you have to it's so so good um this was one that i was anticipating but i haven't heard any um like reviews so if you've read the bad muslim discount i would love to know what you thought y'all look at this cover this cover is so gorgeous it is a thriller and it's supposed to talk about like the horror of the cycle of poverty and i have not heard of this one oh my gosh gothic black sci-fi short stories stop and this cover ah. stop oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god look at this look at it look at it look at it look at it it's so cool this is oh my gosh stop oh my god the comet is in here and the comet is a story by w.e.b du bois that is really really hard to find i tried to find it for one of my tbr cards um like one of my tbr cards picked that for me and i just couldn't find it so i had to go with a different book and then this book the library of the dead have not heard of this but just like look at the cover this is gorgeous and i'm wondering if it's dark academia let's see okay so it's a fantasy about a cynical teen as she explores the shadowy magical ed underside of modern edinburgh that looks promising let me know if you have read this book or what and what you thought this is the most disappointing book i've ever read in my life this 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 the um his last book what was it um blacktop wasteland was really good this is a great black it was a great black mystery uh 
and razor blade tears is his next book and i really want to read it this author writes really good like gritty real down-to-earth mystery thrillers and he's black and amazing y'all i found the first book on my list honey and issues so now i just have to find henna wars oh and then this is the new cover for juliet takes a breath um which i honestly like better than the original it's gorgeous and if you haven't read this book you should read it they have a whole lgbtq section oh the teenager in me is thriving oh so nice i really loved you should see me in a crown so i'm wondering if i shouldn't just get rise to the sun just look at this cover Oh my god, oh my god, oh my gosh. Look, just waiting for me. Waiting for me. Yes. One of my most anticipated releases, y'all. Oh, it's going in the bag. It's going in the bag. Okay, so I have been wanting this book for literally years since it came out. What was it, like two years ago? And I already have the hardcover, but this book is just beloved. And I'm thinking of getting this so i can get this for 50 percent off or this so i can get this for 50 percent off <sighs> because i'm that extra and i've just heard really good things about the southern book club this i hauled recently only good indians was amazing and this was okay <laughs> well let me rephrase i dnf'd it um and haven't had a chance to finish it but it was it was just i and okay y'all i wish you were here with me because i've been wanting to read red rising for such a long time and the paperback is affordable but you know i have this rule about not buying books i haven't read from the library first and he's not an auto buy author oh i really want it though okay i'm thinking i might just check no maybe i should get it just look at it it's so beautiful i don't know what to do with my life Ugh, Ender's Game is so good. I wish I could reread this book for the first time all over again. And oh my god. Okay, well, we found the third book on in our little book scavenger hunt. I am so excited. Not me having not read Dune since childhood. I don't even remember. But just these covers... I want to risk it all like this one i'm calling the police because i've been attacked also i don't know what the deal is with this but this cover is so pretty it's so pretty i just want to whisper so i don't offend its beauty with my presence oh my god why why is this happening to me okay. this is why i shouldn't touch things Okay. All right, let's see what you're about. What you about. Okay. Hostile takeover, alien race, cocooned humans. This all sounds great. Ooh, this sounds so good. reading the audio right now and it's even more beautiful in person should i just should i just buy the physical not a book coming with a whole snack oh with a snack per i'm dying the sci-fi and fantasy section i am home i am home see i can already tell this was illustrated by the queen jen bartell Let's see. Ha! Ha! What did I tell you? Cover art by Jen Bartel. I know my Bartel, okay? I love her. Ugh. Anyways. Hi. I need you. Okay. 
I have read this and it was so good. So good. I love Snot Girl. So good. One of these things is not like the others. Should I get into manga? Should I get some manga? Here's orange. I know y'all love orange. Should I do the thing? Hello, yes, your childhood is calling. Was anybody else traumatized by this book as a child? Because I'm still, I'm still not over it. Like this book is everything that's wrong with me today as an adult. Can we just talk about mi madre for one second? Before I left, I was making a panini and on the phone with her and she said, tomar un foto por mi. And I sent her a picture after the panini was made and she just responded and was like, looks good, but it needs a sauce to hold it all together. And it's like critiquing my panini. She is a retired chef and I'm just like, I just wanted to send you a picture of the I didn't want culinary criticism it's a panini <laughs> like, I love my mother she's probably watching this being like why are you bad-mouthing me on your channel fix yourself not me about to get chunk blood <laughs> hello hello my darlings I am back from book shopping. That was very exciting. I saw some books that I had never heard of. I saw books that I forgot about and had really been wanting to read for quite some time. I saw lots of my favorite books. I haven't been in a Barnes and Noble in so long. That was, it was lovely. Every time I'm in Barnes and Noble, it just reminds me of being a kid it, because I just literally lived there. Uh, there were multiple times where I went from open to close as a child. I just love Barnes & Noble so much and I I now shop almost exclusively at independent bookstores but I wanted to go with some childhood nostalgia for this video. Now let's get into this book haul. I have okay so now I have a damaged book. One two three four five books. Feel free to comment down below and guess which books that I ended up picking up. The first book on the top of the stack is none other than Bruised by Tanya Boteju. Tanya Boteju is an auto buy author for me ever since Kings, Queens, and Inbetweens. That was this beautiful story about a young, I think she's bisexual, queer girl who becomes a drag king and it just was a riot. This is about roller derby and I have been highly, highly into anticipating this book. I currently am writing a story that centers roller derby and I am 20,000 words into my novel. So now I'm extra excited to dig into this book. There just aren't many roller derby books out there, you know? Very excited about this. Then I picked up The Galaxy and The Ground Within, which is part of the Wayfarer series. I thought that this was Becky Chambers' latest book, but it's not. It is the conclusion to the Wayfarer series. I have book one and two, and now I have, I think this is book four. I think that there's, I think this is book four. I think there's one more book before this. Comment down below and let me know. And then I successfully found Hani and Ishu's Guide to Fake Dating. And I can hear Akasha squeaking a toy, which means she's gonna bring it to me in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello, Akasha. Hi, Akasha. Hello, doggy. Hello, dog. Who's a girl? Who's a girl? Who's a dog? Yeah. Who's a YouTube bomber? Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the channel. Look at those chompers. Rah. I don't think she liked that. Yeah, you didn't like that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no. 
<laughs> no, no, no. Okay, um, so I did find this. I didn't end up getting the Henna Wars, mainly because of budgetary purposes. And then there were a couple other books that I didn't get because the store didn't have them because they aren't released yet. Whoops, my bad. One book that I did get that was on my list was none other than Son of the Storm. Highly anticipated release for so many of us, self-included. Starla just read it and she absolutely adored it. I called her, I video chatted her and she was like, yo, y'all need to go and pick this book up. So we did. So excited. This is a West African adult fantasy and just this cover is really all any of us needs to know. Perfect, beautiful. Look at the cover. Look at the cover. And the last and final book that I got from my little book shopping haul is none other than that beautiful collection of black science fiction stories. I love an anthology. I love a gorgeous cover. We stand atmosphere. And I am so excited for the Afrofuturism, the Afro technology. It boasts time travel stories. I just can't freaking wait. That is going to do it for this come book shopping with me. Video. If you have any other ideas for types of book shopping videos that you want me to do, like used bookstores or indie bookstores or um, anything that you can really think of, just comment down below and let me know. If you made it this far into the video, why don't you comment down below with the shopping cart emoji um, and give me a pat on the back for actually buying books. Thank you. She does this. She will, if I'm not giving her enough attention with one toy, she'll go and get a different one. Like she, I think that she thinks, oh, this is the one, you know, this will be the one that will make Jesse magically unbusy and pay attention to me. So yeah. Yes, Akasha, did you like this video? Say yes if you liked the video. Say yes if you liked the video. Okay, 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 okay. Woo, 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 woo. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm really distracted. Um, I love you so much. Okay, uh, oh, not not the breast, not the chest. Okay, oh, hey, don't bite me, don't bite me. Need a bang, don't bite me. Okay, let's go. Um, okay, what is my outro? If you want more content from me, follow me on my Instagram, which is Bowties and Books, but all of my social media links will be in the description box below. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 2 p.m. CST. So make sure you just turn those notifications on. <laughs> Stay safe, wear your mask, and I hope to see you in my next video. Okay, let's go play. Let's go play.